Hey, what's going on guys? So today I got a little bit of project which I already done the job like always. You know, I don't show you guys how to get it done. I show you guys after I get it done the process of how to get it done. So first of all, we are doing a power steering rack on a 2016 for Escape. Now this goes, it's almost similar. I already done a full explorer and it's almost like it but this one takes a little bit more uh i want to say steps so power steering rack they're electric they're not actual pump hydraulic so whenever you start hearing like a grinding noise or that the steering gets hard every time you twist it to one side or the other that most of the time and sometimes you get a a quote on the screen saying that something about power steering or electric assist that means that the power steering rack is going crazy in this case this car only has a hundred thousand miles i have already done a floor explorer with only forty five thousand miles so they're known for having this issue now let me show you guys this is the power steering rack of this escape now visually you can tell right off the back that this corner here it's broken now this side if you're looking at it this goes to your actual steering inside the car show you guys how to disconnect that in a few this is the seal to the um, to the firewall so this side goes on the driver's side this side which is the motor the electric connectors are back here okay it's on the passenger side now, so this is the passenger side uh, pinion. So, this is not supposed to be this soft, wiggly movement. And obviously, this is not supposed to happen. I don't think I can see that, but this is not supposed to happen. So, essentially, what this does is retract and moves, you know, in and out whenever you're moving the steering. Now, here are the plugs. Okay, so this is the old plugs. Reason being, I bought a used one with only 16k uh, mileage on it, uh, fairly cheap compared to a brand new one that is crazy, you know, a thousand bucks or something like that. So, here's your plugs. Okay, uh, this is you push down, push down on it to get it. Usually, they have like a little red clip or blue clip that you have to slide back in order for you to be able to lift and take it out but this one didn't come with and this one didn't either so this is the bottom one okay and it goes like that and then you push down on it to release so steps only has three bolts one two and three holding it to the cross member then the wiring you're gonna have two little clips that hold it here the wiring that comes to the motor itself you have a ground that goes here and then you have like a little shield that bolts to that same ground it bolts to here and it bolts to here that's just a little splash shield covering the harness the harness itself has two clips that they're going to attach themselves here and here and then the ones up above and then from there that's taken care of you obviously have your uh nuts here on the corner of each tire and uh so now i'm going to try to show you guys on the bottom like i said i already done the job so just bear with me so basically you're going to take your wheels off you're going to take the battery power off i just want to show you here Here's your battery, okay. Take this off, you disconnect the cable. What I did is I disconnected it and I hooked it here so it doesn't slide or doesn't do anything and it doesn't connect to anything, okay. That's the first thing you wanna do because the, po the steering is powered by, uh, by the battery, straight out of the battery. So, that being said, when you go underneath your jacket, you put your stands on the bottom, make sure the car doesn't fall on you. Of course, say so I already done the job, so I forgot to videotape it when I should have when I'm doing it. So you have have a bit more of an idea 
how is how it does how it's you know done but I'm gonna show you so you take your both wheels out okay and you're already taking your battery out after that you have this little link here okay this link I don't know if you can see it right over here it goes to the back of the cross member okay so now you could essentially just take the two bolts on it let's see if I can show you on this side see these two bolts here this one and this one and the link is gonna you know the cross member is gonna be free from this link but what I find out is that when you're trying to move it and you're trying to put it back in place and whatnot it's a little bit harder so what I did is you take this one and this one out okay and then you take this one and this one out and you uh, basically jank it out of the place and move it out of the way you do that for both sides okay and then you got uh, your links after you take your tires off you got your link uh, your link it's right there the long rod that rod right there it goes to the top and that has a nut in front of it you gotta take that out and then obviously you're connecting okay you connect to here that has a nut on it as well and you're gonna take that out now from that you got basically your links disconnected and your uh, steering is disconnected from the tire itself okay so now you got to worry about the bottom the cross member now the cross member you got your motor mount your torque mount on the bottom here uh, it has a nut on this side well not a nut it's a bolt See if you can pick it up there. I have to move to the other side. Okay, there we go. Sorry about the whole movement. So you're gonna take this guy out. You take that guy out. The engine's not gonna fall. The engine's not gonna. Nothing is gonna happen to it. It has two motor mounts on top. One on the tranny. One on the engine that it holds it in place. And you're not gonna mess with anything else. So you do. This is your your wiring for your harness. Okay. This is your harness. Then you have a bolt that holds it here, one in the center, and one right there. Okay. Now you're not gonna worry about those just yet, okay? Because you gotta drop this thing down to be able to get to those bolts and be able to you know move around. So that being said, you have taken off your connectors here. Okay, you have taken that out of the place, out of the way. Now you come to the back, okay. So when you come your back, you got that cross member, that right there, that has one, two, and a nut, and on the other side as well. You take that cross member out, out of the way, take it, put it on the back, okay? From there, you got your sauce. It has two tents, one here and one here, okay? You unbolt those and they'll loosen it up from the cross member. So from there, so far so good. Then. What you want to do is you got to start lowering this cross member you got to make sure that you got a jack on the, bot on the bottom of it that way right, give it one second okay so make sure you have a jack on the bottom of it that way you have control of the movement going up and down okay so then you have that bolt right there that's what's holding the cross member to the chassis. So you got one on this side and one on the other side. Okay. And then this one over here is the other one, the other point of the cross member that holds it in place. Now it's this big, this big one, and then it has two little nuts here, two little screws. Now you take those out too, because this bracket is going to come out as a one piece right here, this triangle bracket. You take that out of the way, and you're going to have the same one on the other side, right there. Okay. Take that out of the way, and then you take the one bolt on top that holds to the chassis. Okay, so now you're at the point that it's going to start dropping. Now, when it starts dropping, you are going to have to take your stabilizer bar out in order to take the power steering out the rack. Why? Because it's on the way. If you can see here, okay, stabilizer bar, the link it's right here there's a terminalizer bar that goes over and kind of hugs the actual this rod coming out of the steering rack 
okay it hugs it I don't know if you can see it kind of goes over it and then down so that being said you can't move you can't slide the power stain out of this way or the other way because it's hugging it you know the steering the pump is a, the electric motor is a little bit bigger and everything is just a little bit bigger so you have to take that out now that is gonna have these two bolts here this one this one okay on the top of it is gonna be two big fat nuts on it and you're gonna have have to hold those and hold this now the best way that I found to be able to get to those nuts are where loosening loosening up you know at this point everything is gonna be hanging you know down here you have the space the room to get to this one to the one in the back and to this one over here you loosen all that up you'll be able to move it you get to the nuts that are back here you get to those nuts and then you can move the link not the link the stabilizer bar out of the way put it in the back throw it back there and then you'll deal with it later now after you've done that then you have your little shield over here this is the shield that I was telling you guys about okay you got your little shield that shield you're gonna have to take it out of the way in order to get to the wiring and so on and then take it out and then the power steering rack should be able to slide and just fall on the back now once that's done obviously you're gonna have to put your new one and reverse the whole process so it's not crazy hard but it is a little bit time consuming and by the time you find the little dings and dongs of how to get it done Hey, it might take you a minute but this is pretty straightforward on a forest floor is a little bit harder because the crust member is actually all the way one piece type of thing and it doesn't allow you to disconnect from here and back here so it's a little bit more complex but and for fusion or focus or something like that is a little bit slightly different but this is the way that it, you do this one you have to remove your uh, stabilizer bar in order to get the power steering rack out of the way to be able to replace it you have to loosen it from here and uh, you know as long as you take those bolts out and you have a jack on the bottom of it you should be able to remove it no issues and then put everything back together and make sure you hand tie every screw like the one for the chassis and whatnot once you're lining it up that way you're not messing up the thread because if you do mess up the thread you won't be able to secure the cross member to the chassis which is going to be a big issue so once you put your rack back in there do not tie it until you put your um your stabilizer bar first because remember the nuts on the stabilizer bar are underneath the rack so you put your stabilizer bar you bolt it down you tie it down and at that point you have your new uh stair rack loose in location and the stabilizer bar is hugging it so you put your bolts on the bottom of it you secure it you tie it then after you do both sides then you start going about tying down your steering rack and again that's you know with everything kind of fall hanging freely if you wanted to uh hanging so that way you can get to those bolts and then once you tie those bolts up you start going up line it to the steering and I'll show you guys where the steering is before you drop the before you drop anything you have to come in here and that's the bolt that you have to lose yes I should have told you this in the beginning but that's the you have to loosen that up before before uh, you drop the steering rack okay that's like the first thing that you want to loosen before you drop your steering rack so all right guys hopefully this video helps anybody if anybody has a question of anything just let me know and then uh i'll try to answer and help you out all right good luck guys stay safe out there with the virus and whatnot and then uh keep it wrenching keep it on the road see you in the next one